Welcome everyone, it's RP Jimmy, and I'm here with more WrestleQuest with Bill. Bill, I was searching around for this stupid dance studio, and instead I wound up here, which is the next scene. How are you doing? Um, well, I guess yeah. you've never danced in a dirty, sweaty locker room before, so... Uh, but other than that, I'm doing good. Okay, alright, let's... What are we even doing? I mean, uh, we won the... BEW Championship. Yeah, Moonshot Well, did we, or did we, or, or did we win the chance to be in the dark match or something like I think, that? I think we're winning a chance for the dark match. I don't know. This is, I'm going to say this much. I, I, and again, I, I think I mentioned this. I've kind of been doing a, um, while I'm recording these, I'm doing another series with my friend Ellie called mm -hmm. Dragon Quest Monsters, The Dark Prince. And I find that comparing the two only because I'm doing them at the same time, I don't, I just feel, I know we said this before, I just feel like this doesn't have a real concrete direction. Right. It's just kind of like, do this, do this, do this, but what's the bigger picture? I don't know. May, I, I'll take it back if the bigger picture is Muchacho Man is fighting Brink Logan. Because mm -hmm. that's the only thing I feel, all, uh, relatively see, feel like they're building up to. Yeah. What are your thoughts? I mean, it, that seems like what it is, is like they're just building like their separate stories to the inevitable of the two of them facing off. But uh, even even when, when, I, when I think about that, I sort of like, okay, if they fight each other, but the fact that we've been controlling both characters, mm -hmm. it doesn't make me feel like one or the other is the final boss either. Right. Like, it feels like they're just going to join up, and in which case, who is the main villain of this entire game? Right. Yeah. All right, well, maybe maybe this hour will will shed some light onto things. Here we go. I can't believe this. A chance to break into the big time. Can you imagine? Oh, I guess you can. Listen, man, don't sweat it. I was serious about what I said. I'd rather be the king of Boxwood. Whoa, Dr. Bay, don't you know this is a men's locker room? Perhaps the good doctor wants to examine me and make sure I'm fit for battle. Shut up! I'm not that kind of doctor or girl. I came to tell you that the elephant is in town to watch the match. The elephant here? This is the perfect opportunity for my man, Double M here. Elephant is the owner of Plushy and Action Figure Wrestling. P A W. Is that what that's always meant? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Plushy and Action Figure Wrestling. That is the first time we've heard it, right? And it's full name. Yeah, we have. Okay. Yeah. That scuzzy softy is also a big time crime lord. P A W is just a front for all kinds of sleazy activity, from what I hear. Not from the plushies. <laughs> Muchacho man, you need to impress the elephant if you want to move on to bigger and better matches. Make an entrance, talk some smirk, and deal darle la vuelta a la tortilla. Got it? Great. Now get out of here and show them some spice. Plushy and action figure wrestling. Whatever, we're keeping the same thing. Yeah. Look at the glitz and glamour. Yeah. All those, all that pyro. Green jean, Bill. I, I could do green jean. God, I do green jean. I don't mind oh. telling you, we could do green jean. <laughs> oh, let's be our main event competitors. In this corner, you know him, you love him, you can't live without him. It's the Brooder. Oh, oh my word, the Brooder. And in this corner, Newcomer from the south of the border, the Spice himself. 
Muchacho Man! Bruder, what do you have to say about the fight? I guess I'll be the Bruder. Um, yeah. As, as far as I'm concerned, this isn't even a fight. It's a mercy kill. The Bruderhood is going to cut loose on this guy. Oh, I do this because I'm Muchacho Man. Uh, so let's see, mm -hmm. Eugene, you better step back unless you want that suit dirty, because when I'm done, you'll have to call this guy the Blooder, the Blood Brooder. Take it from me, Boxwood. This Brooder is no keeper. This isn't a blanket. <laughs> Dude, this isn't a blanket. <laughs> this isn't a blanket. <laughs> well, Boxwood, you heard it here first. Now let's see how this exciting matchup plays out in the ring. Oh, a one-on-one -on -one contest. I don't... I feel it's been a long time since we had one-on-one -on -one with no teammates. Mm-hmm. Okay. So... Let's go. Let's see if he's going to be a pushover or if he's... Why does it say tur... Oh, I got to beat him in tur... Within ten turns? Okay, so which means I better use some moves here. Like the South of the Border Stunner. I don't know, he's pretty tough. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it in 10 turns. Yeah, I highly doubt it. I mean, if I keep giving him South of the Border Stunners, maybe. Maybe there's something better here. Oh, I should have did this first. Pile bomber. They didn't even give me a chance to, to block it. Oh, well, yeah, because I put the extra damage on. I should have did that the first yeah. turn. Not cool. Not cool. No! Even his what's sweating? Did he say even my... I thought he said even my pencils are sweaty. That's how I hit it. I think I might have this. It's only turn six now. Did you say pictures are sweaty? I don't know. Pictures, pencils, same thing, right, guys? Oh my god, I'm almost dead. Hold on. Hopefully this finishes the math, and this will be turn eight. Alright, we got this. Yeah. We got this. And then the last turn will be pin. Hey, what gives, dude? You're not supposed to be winning. Zizu, the star's destiny. The spice madness defies destiny, amigo. Each of us makes our own fate. Oh, brother, no one told me this was going to be a shoot. Oh, that's right. We, sh that's we right. shot on him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah. So wait, so he was scheduled to win? Is that what we're supposed to believe? I believe so. Oof. I was a little nervous for that third one because if I didn't do it, I would have lost everything. Mm -hmm. It would have been the, t the 11 turn. Yeah. 
I wonder what this means. Music Bruderhood. Like maybe you cute. get Bruderhood's theme. That's maybe that's the name of the song. Maybe. And the once Bruder. and once again, Slimy does nothing but gets experience. I you know what? I don't know if there's been an RPG that I've played recently that has been so unearned of getting a level up as Slimy. <laughs> Usually in RPGs, even you get it when the person dies, at least they fought a little bit before they died. Mm -hmm. Oh, who was Elephant again? Was that you? I, I feel like it was, was, but I just don't remember the voice anymore. I'll have right. to make a new one. Um, oh, wait, no, it might have been me holding my nose. Yes, um, it was. Well, well, that was quite a surprise, and here I thought this would be a business trip. What a treat to have a bit of pleasure, too. You can learn a thing or two from this guy, Bruder. <laughs> Senor Elefante, I would be honored to fight for your organization. Is that so? Well, a man of your talent, a man of your raw wrestling ability, a man of your charisma, and crown appeal. See? See? Uh, see? <laughs> It's just not what P.A.W. needs right now. I've already got an up-and-coming new hero for this season. A real everyman. A champion of the people. I don't need another. But... P.A.W. is about entertainment. Redundancy. That's not entertainment. Sorry, muchacho. Next time, don't be a hero. Wow. Jeez. Maybe I could go to another town, start over at a new wrestling promotion. College championship wrestling. There you go. <laughs> he could be the head of the class. Yeah. Here we go. Maybe. <laughs> okay. After we get through this dialogue, here's what I want you to think about while we go through this dialogue. What does the college championship wrestling head of the class title look like? Oh. Yeah, in a year, maybe. The road's out, remember? No getting through there unless you've got some celebrity pull, like the elephant does. I'm sorry, muchacho man, but Boxwood's not so bad. I mean, we definitely have a place for you on our crew. Muchacho, I... Bye. Yeah, really. I shouldn't have put so much down on that one. Gotta get back to my stuff. Gotta get out of town. Hey, what did you say? Hey, wait. Come back, amigo. Alright, so that was a bit of a twist. Okay, investigate the brooder. He's squatting off to the gym. Alright, which is where? Down here? Looks like it. Also, very strange. Why is there no music all of a no sudden? Music. Yeah. Russian action figure wrestling is all about. <laughs> what? No music? No the music. They, they survive. Oh, there's the there's the dance thing. They survive on their cuteness. <laughs> yep. Oh, there's the gym. That's where I gotta go. The two one three. Booyaka, booyaka. I was gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Let's gather up, pack it in, and hit the road, man. What are you packing? Thumb uh, dumbbells? <laughs> <laughs> that dang elephant, man. You could learn a thing or two from him. Give me a break. One day, man, one day you're gonna get it, elephant. I'm gonna let those I'm gonna let these twenty-two inch serpents loose on you. So is he supposed to be Hogan then? Cause now I'm gonna have to change my voice for him. 
Right. One day, man, one day you're gonna get an elephant. I'm gonna let these 22-inch serpents loose on you, and you will be at my feet, and you will know in that moment that I am the greatest, that I'm not a has-been. I'm not. Excuse me, I'm a long time... Since when are you a long time fan of this guy? Excuse <laughs> me, I'm a long time fan, and I'm sorry to interrupt your essential crisis, but... Hey! How'd you get in here, dude? The door is open, and this is a public gym. Okay, brother. You got me there. Do you live here? Never mind. What did you mean about getting out of here? I need to get to the next town and follow the circuit to have a word with this elephant. There is one way. Oh no, not now, brother. <laughs> that doesn't work for me, brother. <laughs> What the hell? Alright, I guess you'll be- I need a, I need you to be somebody I'll here. Be, I'll be all three. How about okay, that? great. Look, hermanos, a couple of brothers. Just because they're both wrestlers doesn't mean they're brothers, hermano. Wait, I thought he was the Bruter? Or... Caliente, Travis. So, Bruter. Ready to come with us? You want out of here, dude? Help me send these guitar swinging bobbleheads packing. No, that sounds like a deal. Oh, see. Oh, great. I just took on another permitted <laughs> voice. <laughs> All you have is Barbet. That's like the only thing you have. <laughs> All right. Alright, so did you give thought to your, um, your title? Uh, I'm thinking of, like, a diploma. Okay. On it, like, on the belt, and then, like, the side belts can have, like, a college graduate. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see what the brooder can do. The brooder boot. What? Really let's, let's see what it looks like. That was pretty damn good, actually. It hurts the main person, but it also injures the other people, too. What is this? Not the guitar. Not the brass sass. Stop hitting me with your instruments. Mm -hmm. Wait, why did... I think I hit the wrong thing. Let's do a Bruder Boot again, because that was really good, actually. Oh, I wonder if this is supposed to be Booker T. Maybe. Same brother though. Yeah. And he is wearing a bandana, be it purple. Because they were like, let's do Hogan, but let's. But oh, what if just, he's it, black? You just did the same thing again. Is that what I'm doing? Oh my god, what's wrong with me? Oops. Oh, I'm such a fool. The brooder is about to be done. Yeah, he is done. So, can we going to lose to these three? Oh no! Maybe you're meant to win. I mean, it could be that too. Oh, 
Why did he get knocked back? Oh, he's, he's gone. He's dead. Good. No, not for SS. Stop. Get rid of this floor on the bottom. Great. That's it. Dead. Ah, oh, you guys. No. Welcome crying. First game over on this podcast. No, I don't. I think we got a game over. Remember when we went to? Yeah. Um, yeah, when we went to uh, on the Brink Logan one. Mm. Remember, because right. yeah, when we went and all of a sudden, remember, because Stag kept coming back alive, and I was like, "Let's yes, go, Stag!" Yeah. Yes, you're right. Okay. All right, let me heal. I mean, I'll try it again, obviously, because we're only twenty minutes in. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe this time I just won't do the same shit that I was doing before. All right, let's go to the gym. Yeah, now that we have this guy from the plushy and action figure, whatever the hell they call it. Where's this gym? It's down here, right? Yeah. Let's keep going down. Bill, if someone were to say you can have... Well, look, if we don't win this time, you know we're going to the dance studio. <laughs> And that's how we'll end the video. Um, is it letting me go through? Here we go. Make sure I'm healed. Okay. If in, in honor of the plushy and action figure promotion, do I have to go through the list again? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, if you were able to get three free plushies of any three wrestlers, what would it? Who would it be? Could be past or present, doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, I probably would get a Hulk Hogan. Hmm. Now, would that be um, a red and yellow Hogan? Would that be the end of yellow and Hogan? Yellow. Okay. Red, red and yellow. Um, maybe a Samoa Joe. And a Stacy Peebles. Okay. Or what are those things that are they're not plushies? Oh, squishmallows. Oh yeah. Did you get a squishmallow? I I did for Christmas actually. Oh, what, did, what kind of squishmallow did you get? A Snoop. Yeah, oh, that's nice. I mean, I didn't know. I, I don't think I knew that the oh, no, they, all they do is brand names. I don't think I even knew I, that they made a Snoopy one. I was very surprised. I call him Snoop Snoop. Snoop Snoop. He's I, in my room right now. By the way, I think that's why I can't do uh, my, my stunner move because of friggin' the brass sass, so I'm not gonna do it this time. You make your ringtone. Uh, <laughs> now what? Let me be careful and heal him.
There we go. All right. Wait, why? Oh. What the hell is this? Oh my gosh! No! Stop! They melted! And you're gonna use brass sass? Stop! What? What is this? You get ten turns on your side? Now I'm back to even even worse position than I was in before. How did this? How did it come how to this? How did it happen? Again? What, what the ten turn thing again? Just kill me. I'll just go dance for the just. I'm just. Let's go dance for the rest of this video. <laughs> this is such bullshit. Alright, one down. But does it even matter? Because the thing is, look, just for those that are watching this, it doesn't even give me the option to pin once that guy's down. So I couldn't have pinned to get rid of one of them. Yeah, of course I lost. When you get 10 turns and then all of you are revived at the same time again. I guess we're going to dance for the rest of this episode. Oh, gosh. So annoyed. Bill, is that nonsense? I don't know what to do next time. No, I don't know what to do because there's nothing saying that that won't happen again. Giving up on yourself, muchacho man. Well, you know what? What's his face? Really made me depressed. Elephant. Am I going the right way for the dance studio? I think you went the wrong way. I think way. you went the wrong way. Right way. Yeah, we want to go down, I believe. Yeah. Well, muchacho man, not always have your dreams been crushed. There's these assholes right now. Blocking your way to the dance room. No way, you really found an antique little stringer guitar case for your abuelita's attic. See, under the old water guards. So, what was inside? Was there a priceless guitar? No, inside there was. A plush rat stuffing, dry rotted and stained with blood. A corpse? Why am I getting a story out of all three of you? How dreadful. How unlikely. I, I just gave up giving doing voice for these three. Was your abuelita <laughs> murderous? I don't know and I don't care. I don't know, amigo. I never asked. If there's one thing that guitar case taught me, it's to let the past lie. Oh my god. It was so long for nothing. Oh man. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna have to level up. Alright, what are we doing here? Uh, Who's knocking? Knock, knock. Who's there? For those who missed the earlier episode, he is dancing in front of a strip club. Great. 
I don't know, get a pepper grande. Yeah, I get no items received. Boy, this episode really went south quick. <laughs> wait, don't I get something from this guy if I did a good job? Oh, I can't wait to get my hands on that cup. I guess I don't get anything from you. I thought that was Ricky Steamboat for a minute. I feel like it's... Uh, what's his name? Mean Dean Love Machine. Okay. Let's see if we can find out what this question mark is. Because I think what's going to wind up happening... Oh, I can't go left. I think what I'm going to wind up doing is after this video, for the in order to... I, I'll have to level up, I guess, because they don't even give me any friends other than the freaking new guy. The Brooder. I can't even level him up because he's a new guy. You don't get him until then. He'll say something. Something. <laughs> the Sorry, worst. Okay, you know what? Cheer me I, up. Say something to cheer me up. I'm, I'm trying to. Okay, so I've been meaning to tell you this story. Okay. I think you'll get a kick out of this. Okay. So, at work, I have this one co-worker. She's given me a, a nickname. Basically, she's she gives everybody a, a nickname. Okay, is this work. is this a first day thing, or does she like get to know you first? Well, she gets to know me first. Okay. My nickname for her, or from her, is Jim. Oh. Okay. What happened was, this is what I believe ha mm -hmm. happened. She one day accidentally called me Jim. <laughs> and I think I just went I think I was like yes and I've just been called Jim ever since. Hmm. So like so like whatever like we see each other she'll be like, Hey Jim <laughs> God. There's Jim alive and living and in living color. So that so if you were going to a gym you'd be Jim at a gym? Mm-hmm. I'd be Jim in a gym. Or I'd be Jim in a jungle gym. Ooh, you could do that too. <laughs> Actually, that did happen not too long ago at work. I was um, cutting up or breaking down boxes, and, and I had a pile of them. And my boss was trying to get through, and he was like, "Look at this! I can't even. This looks like a jungle gym." And I'm like, ah, "Jungle gym!" <laughs> <laughs> like he didn't mean to say that. Right. <laughs> Like, <laughs> wasn't he that, was gonna, was, he was gonna kick my ass that day. Wasn't there also a wrestler, Jungle Jim Steel? Yeah. I wonder if he's still alive. I don't think so. I feel like he, he's a—he's one of the ones that died young. Let's see. Jungle Jim Steel. Because I can't put a space. While I'm typing for some reason. He is still alive. Oh, I'm surprised. I thought I thought for some reason I thought I read that he was dead. He is 56 years old. Honestly, younger than I would have thought. Uh, he made what well, he made one appearance in ECW. Oh, who did he fight? 911. Okay, I should have guessed that one. <laughs> Uh, let's see, he, he started out in Florida, then went to the USWA, and then trained in the WCW power plant, and wrestled there for a year, then went to ECW, and then spent eight years with All Japan Pro Wrestling. Oh. Uh, then... Two years in New Japan, and then back to All Japan for a few months, and then off and on wrestled in Puerto Rico. He only won three titles in his career. Okay. Not, not in WCW, I don't think he did. Oh, no. No, 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 no. no. Co-holder of the All-Asia Tag Team titles. The... 
WWC Puerto Rico and the WWC Division title. Mm. Bill, I decide I'm going to try one more time. All right. I have an idea. He has an idea, people. Yeah, yeah, we know Bruder. You're going to leave town. You're going to leave town, but guess what? You're really not, because you probably don't have the balls to leave town. <laughs> and then the mariachi band's going to come in. Then I'm going to beat all three of them, but then they're all going to come back alive and get healed, and then have ten turns against me. Get another another drink. So tell me what your what's your favorite uh tell people what your favorite jungle gym steel match is. Um <laughs> I I think it's the time he had a, a slide match with uh Johnny Swinger. <laughs> uh, first one to have the slide lost. Oh, that's bad. That was... Oh, so did you tell people where they can watch their fa your favorite Jungle Gym Steel match? I'm sure it's somewhere on YouTube, and the one I told probably the not <laughs> Alright, so... I mean, I'm doing everything the same that I did before, except for when it comes to when they all, when the last one's about to die, I'm going to heal myself. Because I know they're going to come back alive. Yeah. That's my strategy here this time. Keep using the Bruder boot. Well, I mean, let's see what happened. It looks like he's farting. Like, <laughs> like he's farting fire. Okay, he's down now. Great. Take your protein and talk to your baker. It's definitely Hogan, by the way. Did you hear what he just said? Drink your protein. And talk to your maker. Yep. He's gonna heal now. Just, just clear tape for me. I'm gonna be very careful with this. I kinda don't want him to die yet. He's gonna heal the Chacho Man. And then he is going to heal the Brooder. Right. He's gonna use the big duck team. The Brooder is gonna finish him off here. And then the bullshit begins. Alright, everyone should be defeated. Nope, here it is. Here's the bullshit.
god, how many turns does, was that? At least All right. four or five. Look, see, it worked because he lived. He would have been dead if it not for just then. Yeah. Now we can use his... Hmm? The Brooder Boot. This is not cool at all. Oh, you only had that one. Yeah, okay, so that's that's a change. Alright, he's out. Yeah, because look, I can't pin. It doesn't give you the option to pin. I just want to show people that I'm not yeah. just I'm not just missing a pin situation. we do anything. Just in case it happens again. dance studio <laughs> oh no I, I got definitely gotta look that up after this recording i mean not like we're recording again right after but exactly for the next time now, where's the stupid dance studio i'm gonna dance my troubles away at least you're doing something productive and positive to help your problems instead of alcohol and drugs. Well, I mean, I am I <laughs> having a drink, so... <laughs> Oops. Assholes. Get out of my way. <laughs> Fuck your big heads! Bobblehead motherfuckers. What are you doing today? The boxwood straw. There it is. Probably my best performance yet, to be honest with you. Yeah, you 90, only missed three times. Ninety-four percent accuracy. Not like I get anything for it. Not like I get a secret weapon that cancels out this. Oh, what's this? Oh, I'll be disco broccoli. All right, yeah. Yo, what is it, brother? Nice moves in there. Gracias, but I'm a wrestler, not a dancer. I just got mad because of some bullshit that happened in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh was perfect. <laughs> Good. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> See you around, Spice Master Supreme. What is your purpose? What? <laughs> Quest store disco, disco broccoli. broccoli. <laughs> yes. What is the disco broccoli? Is there... Oh, oh, here we can See the quest here. Disco broccoli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know these were here. All right, what's hotter, a Disco Inferno? There you go, Disco Inferno. What's hotter, a Disco Inferno or your Dancing Spice? Side quest, Disco Broccoli has warned you not to continue. Why? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? You know what? 
Fuck him. I'm going to dance again now. <laughs> uh, uh, that's funny. Fuck that broccoli uh, motherfucker. Yeah, look, serve stuff for me, go. This is what you want, disco broccoli? This will make you happy? <laughs> How you like these moves? <laughs> so <laughs> sick. <laughs> Game. <laughs> My only motivation is to piss off Disco Broccoli now. Look at that broccoli. Okay, I, I can't wait for this next one. Broccoli bitch. <laughs> Are you sure you want to quit the game? Yeah, game? I do. Let's see what he says about this. <laughs> Where is he? Where the hell is he? Did I do something wrong? This good broccoli has warned you not to continue. Do I do? All right, let me see. A ZR. Now try to disco broccoli. All right, where is he? We are in where's, the best story of the game. Where's the Where's the freaking map? <laughs> I can't find the map now. <sighs> Back in there. I'll I'll dance so much he'll come to me. <laughs> Go for the cup. What what haven't we done yet? Um, uh, I don't think we've done the chili day toy time. Okay. All these moves are bad. Yeah, 100%. Get over here, <laughs> stupid freaking broccoli. <laughs> oh. Where are you? I hate you now. There you are. Hey, man. What give? You're starting to earn a following around here. I thought you belonged in the ring, not on the stage. Well, you know what? When nonsense happens from a Marachi band, we find out where my true priorities lie. <laughs> See, but no buts, dude. I'm the king of this place. You understand? Don't even think about doing oh. another song. Okay. <laughs> All right, Jessica Broccoli. Guess what? Fuck you. I'm going back in. <laughs> Disco Broccoli. No, no one would cheer for Disco Broccoli. Disco Broccoli. All right, wait, which ones haven't we... All right, I guess the ones that we have a check mark next to are the ones that we... No, because we did Boxwood Strut. You haven't done the Pimienta Grande. Did I... Oh, duh, player's highest score. You're right. So I haven't done Pisco Truster and Pimienta Grande. I hope the stupid Broccoli is watching.
But you got the cup. I did get the cup. Where's this broccoli? There he is. Good. I'm glad, you know, I'm glad, you're, I'm glad you're back. All right, man. Enough is enough. Don't sit in front of this place again. But why? Surely the stage is big enough for both. No way. Can that jive? I'm the only dancing machine around here. Understand? What's the matter? Side dish. Are you afraid? Fuck you. Afraid? <laughs> afraid of your dancing? Ha! Careful. Bro. Freakle. What? Careful. Freakle. Bre Careful, Breakle. Don't you know spice is more exciting than vegetables? <laughs> oh, oh, I don't think so. You're done. You and me. Dance off, baby. I'll have the DJ cue up my favorite song. See if you can keep up. What's what's your favorite song? The vet something from Veggie Tales. Get out of here. Oh, well, you do have to give the trophy to the. Oh, Dean yeah, that's right. Okay, that's him, right? Yeah, that's him. Yeah. Is that it? It is. The Twisties Cup. You have a funny way of dancing the salsa in this town. Yeah, salsa. Anyways, <laughs> thank you for helping me out. A power boost. I don't even think that's going to help me at all. Fighting these stupid guys down here. Well, just go your do your dance battle with a broccoli. Let's, yeah, let's, let's fight. Let's dance battle Mr. Broccoli, and then we'll call it a video. Unless something happens in this storyline. Okay. So wait, oh, I guess we'll do the only one we haven't done, right? At this yeah. Point. The pixel thruster. Yeah. Wait, where's the broccoli? Watch what I'm going to say, the broccoli got 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, watch. He's gonna be like, "Oh, you got ninety-seven percent. I got ninety-eight percent." All right, let's see what we get. Okay, I've got to admit, the spice of your dancing is intoxicating. You learn a thing or two in the ring about putting on a show, amigo. And you taught me a thing or two about humility, young blood. Here, take this as a peace offering. Thank you. Don't mention it. And don't lose that beat. Out of sights. Uh, it's an equipment item. Let me see if it's actually any good. Oh, I don't even, I didn't even wear these apparently, so. Alright, where's his, uh, sunglasses? Uh, oh, what's this? Knock off this place then. Oh, I think we won this before, so I'll put that on. Okay. Is it this? Oh yeah, out of sights. So this does actually help. Alright. Hmm. Basic yeah, hand. Basic hand. What other quests do we have for the future here? Well, yeah, investigate Brooder. I know how that goes. Uh, you found the mysterious key in the desert by a statue. Are you going mad? Visit the Visit pile, the dri pile driver. driver with toy box. I don't even remember where the pile driver is. All right, this turned out to be a whirlwind of an episode. We got. No, a bunch of nonsense with a mariachi band and then battle a dance-off with a broccoli. 
Phil, tell people where they can find you. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, you won't find me on the dance floor. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at House of Bill and find me on Instagram, Mr. Billiam85. And as for me, you can find me official RP Jimmy on Twitch and YouTube. And we'll catch you later for some more WrestleQuest. <laughs>